Mr. Evan Knappen is with us on the program. Evan, how are you, sir? Hey, great. How are you doing, Cam? Uh, you know what? I am more thankful by the day that I live in Virginia, Evan. <laughs> You're not kidding. New Jersey no, I'm has not. been one adventure after another. Uh, a, a adventure. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's a <laughs> nightmare. Mm -hmm. that's, I mean, so I see this story on uh, i actually had somebody send this to me yesterday on delaware open carry uh, and i guess this is actually from new jersey right it's from new jersey and it is a very uh, big story it's going viral as well it should because this is just a an outrage yeah absolutely it is so sean moore lives in new jersey he his 11 year old the photographs taken with the 11 year old and his 22 caliber rifle uh it's an ar-15 platform but it's 22 caliber Right. You see these. This one happens to be made by Smith & West. And I almost bought a Mossberg this weekend for my right, kids. Right. They're great guns uh, to train uh, youth how to shoot, and they're a lot of fun. And it's just a twenty two rim fire, and he's happy as can be. It was actually a, a birthday present for him, and he couldn't wait to go uh, out shooting with his dad. And what's really startling about this case, uh, other, I mean, other than the unbelievable, I'll use the euphemism, heavy-handedness of the... Uh, of the government here is that uh, Mr. Moore is an NRA certified firearms instructor. He's an NRA uh, range certified range officer. He's also a New Jersey uh, hunter safety instructor. Okay, so he's totally credentialed, and he can tell by the picture that he's trained his son. Look where his trigger finger is off the trigger. And I wish half of Hollywood would do that. You know, we'd be in good shape. Right. And then the son is licensed by New Jersey as a hunter. And in order to get his firearm hunting license, he had to pass the same course that an adult has to pass on firearm safety. So both the son and the father are trained. And uh, this is uh, absolute lawful gun ownership. And what it's all about, time to bond with your son and do some uh, shooting with a 22. And because he posted this photo on his Facebook, uh, you know, social media site there, proud mm -hmm. of his uh, son and, and, and his nice uh, firearm here, next thing you know, uh, he's got a raid at night last Friday of, uh, of family services, DIFUS workers, and a cadre of police four or so police, to raid his house, to want him to open his safe. Uh, the officer, because uh, I was on the phone, this isn't even him telling me this, because he called me, and I was on the telephone through this episode. Right. All right. And this officer, who's professional, but he, uh, then the uh, DIFUS, where he said, we want to check about whether his guns are registered. Like, this is their ploy. And we want to make sure they're secure. First of all, there's no registration in New Jersey. Registration is voluntary. The only time a gun is registered in New Jersey is when a handgun is purchased. That's it. There's no law charging unregistered guns. So the fact you want to check guns are registered when there's no requirement for guns to be registered is uh, wrong right out of the box. But then on top of that, to want to invade his privacy, invade his home, inventory his firearms, who knows what else, maybe seize them, threatening, you know, we're going to take your kids, we're going to... Uh, uh, you know, employ uh, all these uh, sanctions if you don't uh, uh, do this. And, and, you know, there's this little thing called the Fourth Amendment. Okay, not happening. You have no warrant. A photograph of a smiling kid with his 22 is not probable cause to invade the man's house and uh, start a firearm investigation. Absolutely. It's an outrage, and, you know, it shows you the attitude that's out there in government. It's very scary. I mean, I don't – I know very few – shooters who have kids that they take them shooting that don't have a picture of their kid with the firearm. I mean, Evan, honestly, so we, you know, we do on Sportsman Channel every Friday, I, I ask people, I say, send in your pictures of your weekend at the range. Every Monday, we're showing pictures, uh, you know, that, that proud parents have sent in of their kids or their grandkids or nieces and nephews who are there at the range. And when I saw this story last night, my very first thought was, oh, man, I mean, like, I hope I don't get some of these people in trouble. This is absolutely uh, outrageous. And uh, we're here, and, and I'm proud of my, of my client because um, my client actually listened to me. That's really great. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't, look, we're standing on your rights. I mean, uh, you know, millions of men and women have died for these rights. They paid the ultimate price. You're not just going to roll over and allow your, your, your entire 
household to be violated and your gun safe to be violated and then for them to uh who these folks who don't know anything about guns then make uh you know a snap decisions about uh firearms or whether they think they're lawful or not of course every gun my client has is lawful he has nothing to hide but you know what that's not what the fourth amendment's about it's not about whether you have something to hide it's about whether the government has probable cause to invade and violate your privacy and they did not have that here well and listen you know evan i i think I started the show by, by, by talking about this case, and, you know, clearly it seems to me we've got, obviously you guys have a ton of bad bills uh, that have been introduced in New Jersey. We've got the legislation we're dealing with at the federal level and, you know, in states across the country. But but more broadly, what we're seeing here is an attack on gun owners and on gun ownership and on our way of life. I mean, this is this was some nanny who got upset over this Facebook photo. Right called, you know, uh, Dyfus, and, and some pencil pusher at Dyfus thought that this was enough of a reason to get involved, and then the police show up. This is a good parent. This is an involved parent. This is a happy child. Uh, and again, our ability, what they're attacking is our ability to raise our kids as we see fit. You are absolutely right. This is a culture clash. I yeah. mean, this is our culture, that I'm proud to be part of the gun culture, proud to be a, a benefactor member of the NRA. I am proud of this. And, you know, when I want to put a photo of my, and I posted photos of my kids with guns on Facebook, by the way. Right. You know, this is not uncommon, and I don't want to feel intimidated to do it. I don't want to think that I'm going to be subject to some heavy-handed government raid, because I do that with guns that I have lawfully purchased when I am within within the law 100 percent to go shooting with my kid and allow my kid to safely handle a firearm it is just that outrageous and yet it happened and it really does reflect on on this difficult cultural shift at least in government and whether it's from uh... just the propaganda coming from the white house or uh... just this whole movement being funded by billionaires but it's got to end this is wrong so evan what's the latest with uh mr moore uh, i i understand that dyfus was still was still yeah. trying to get into the house right they still apparently want to uh see his guns it's very simple it's not happening if they if they think they can get a warrant and they have enough probable cause and follow the constitution i mean that's another issue but at this point, he's sure not going to just give up his rights and uh, and allow his privacy to be violated, his Fourth Amendment rights to be violated, his Second Amendment rights to be violated over an intimidation play, which is what this was, um, a full intimidation play. Now, I want to say the officers were professional. They're called there. They have to go there when Dyfus brings them in. they got a job to do and a tough job, and I'm not criticizing them. But I'll tell you what, when I had that Dyfus worker on the phone and i said to her what is your name she wouldn't give it to me i said you're refusing to identify yourself i said show your identification right now to my client and let him write it down and she ran away she ran away wow would not identify what? herself i mean what kind of agency are we talking about where i mean you know you look back in history at agencies that uh uh, you know, wanted to do these things and, and, and do it anonymously. Right. And it's not real, real happy days there. So this is what happened. And to this day, we don't know her name. The police, I'm sure, do. We don't know her name. She wouldn't give it. So not only that, uh, you know, this, this outrage of trying to invade uh, this man's uh, privacy, but then a refusal to identify yourself when asked by his attorney on the phone while you're trying to Make, we're going to let somebody who doesn't, I mean, even that is uh, someone who won't identify themselves. Sure, come right in. You know, rape this guy's household. Go right ahead. Yeah, right. <sighs> the fact that she ran away. Yeah, ran away. Rather than identify herself. Absolutely. Holy cow. You know, now, again, I'm not, a, I'm not a trained psychologist, Evan, but that, you know, that may indicate that perhaps uh, she knew she wasn't on the firmest of uh, legal footing there. Well, I, I, you know, I was saying they, that this uh, probably is going to have other ramifications uh, as well. I mean, that's a uh, uh, fact. If they were going to go through with this, uh, she would be explaining to a judge uh, in the morning 
uh, what they were thinking. Well, yeah, and mm-hmm. and I hope so. And, you know, look, I hate that this is where we've gotten to in New Jersey. Yeah. But it's not going to get any better until we've got more people it like is. Mr. Moore standing up for themselves, standing up for their family, standing up for every other gun owner across the state well, of New Jersey. what's great is shows like NRA News, one of the best things we can do is let it be known because this puts, you know, the light of truth on it. It puts, uh, puts these people... Uh, on notice that, you know, we're drawing a line here. It's come down to that. We've got to draw the line and protect not just the Second Amendment, but the Fourth Amendment. I mean, the, the, the Bill of Rights is, is a seamless web of protections, and each protection helps the other. And that's what this is about. This case is standing tall for that. Well, uh, yeah, absolutely right. Uh, listen, Evan, uh, I appreciate you coming on the program. Any time. Give our best to uh, Sean Moore and uh, his son, okay? Great talking with you, Cam. Take care. I'll see you in Texas, man. Yeah, yes, you will. Take care.